you know, what he allows, he sees what these factions are doing. Right. And and he allows things to happen, and you know, he'll step in as well as on monkey wrenches and to disrupt their plans. Mm -hmm. If people can't wake up now, I mean, this, this is like a last push to wake yes. up his people. I, I think so, too. You know, to, 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 to wake up, start stocking up, get away from the coast. Everything that, that, your, that the prophets and the watchmen are yelling about is coming about. Right. Uh, you know, because he, he doesn't want his people caught unprepared, and so many of them are. Yes. You know, and so he's, he's doing everything he can. Well, I have one final point because I consider myself kind of a prophet, too, because I try to tell all my friends and family that it's like they're all missing this perspective of sin. You know, they're, they're all Christians, you know, because I only minister to Christians. I only talk to Christians because I have an expectation that they should know what's going on. But they, it's like they, they don't see evil for what it is or, or the sin of this nation for what it is. And it, because if they put it all together... They would know that God has to act. God has to do something about what's going on here. Yeah, they, well, you know what? They've, they've, they've compromised with it. They just they just go along with it now. Right. You know, it's just like it grows on you, and mm -hmm. you just go along with it, instead of being appalled and shocked and fighting against it. Mm -hmm. Because you deal with so much of it all the time, it's constantly in their face. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, and, and it's apathy, and it's, that's a big problem with the churches today. And, and the churches today just really don't preach against it. Exactly. You know, I've had people donate to my ministry for the sole reason because I, I taught against sin. Uh huh. But they, they, the pastor didn't. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, and it's apathy. And you know what? You know what I'm hearing more and more and more of from from believers or just people that are searching for the truth is, is they can't believe that God is a God of judgment. Oh well, well, the Bible has many, many, many examples of that side of of, of the Lord. You know, they, they take the fruit of the Spirit, mm -hmm. which is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, and they say, that's God. Right. And they totally leave out what he says about his own aspects of being a judge yeah, exactly. and holding people accountable. Exactly. You know, and so they totally ignore that aspect and just embrace the fruit of the Spirit and say, that's God. Right. There's no judgment. There's no accountability. No, I agree. With that. I think that's one of the biggest problems, Coach. Because they keep hearing about, you know, bad times are coming. Bad times. I'm like, I'm like, look, bad times are already here. Yeah. It's, it's been happening. You're just not seeing it for what it is. Yeah. You know, and, and now that we're losing, starting to lose massive amounts and chunks of population here and there. Uh-huh. Uh, let's start waking up a little bit. It's going to keep going. You know, this whole country eventually right. is going to be under martial law from, you know, all these disasters, either man-made or natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, wait till his judgment kicks in. They aren't natural disasters. Exactly. I mean, like, they can't even count on that one. Oh, I'm curious to see how far this New Orleans thing is going to go with martial law there. They have, they've already uh, had some kind of ruling that they can't confiscate guns anymore. Right. But, but i got a feeling that that's, I mean, you know, the federal government has a, a hold on it now. They're not going to let go that easy. So no, you know, this is ruling is going to get buried somewhere. Right. You know, and, and I've heard from Christians down there. I was going to bring this one girl on the show who lived down there, mm -hmm. being constantly harassed by the black helicopters and FEMA. Yeah. And, and they're evil, and they're scaring the people down there helping them. Right. You know, and and it was just going to move on. Houston was going to be their next testing ground for a police state. Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, FEMA has really shown their hand by some of the things they did, you know, um, when Katrina first hit, you know, cutting the communication lines and, different things. I mean, if people think they're, they're you know, going to help them. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I came out uh, last year warning about FEMA. I did a whole show on FEMA, mm -hmm. you know, and warning people what FEMA was and was becoming and what it was going to do, and, and now they're seeing it. Now yeah. they're seeing I mean, exactly the what I said, how like they're it. acting in Louisiana. It's going right. to get much worse. FEMA is going to be the enforcement agency of the Antichrist. I mean, all the signs are there. I just wish people would really open their eyes and start paying attention because every sign you need to see to, to let you know what time of, time it is, it's there. Yeah. There, you know, and, and you won't miss it, but it's like no one's paying attention. They're not seeing it, seeing it with a proper perspective. So Yeah, I mean, some really people concerns think, me. So. Uh, just giving people six months is generous. I don't think we're going to last that long. Right. Well, I, I really appreciate your show. I never miss it. I always download the MP3s. Well, I thought I'd just call you. Maybe maybe I'll be on there this time. <laughs> but God bless you. All right, well, thanks Indeed. for calling in. <laughs> hey, you have a great uh, evening. Hey, you too. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. What's the call? Let's have 260-356-2611. Call in with your comment or question. Uh, 
And you know what? That, that's very true. I mean, we don't know how much time any of us have left. Some of us may have six months. Some of us may not. You may be in one of these hot areas uh, that are going to suffer a, a hurricane or an earthquake. I mean, right now we're going through a period of hurricanes, possible earthquakes, and tsunamis uh, up until November. And so uh, anything could turn around and strike. Uh, you've seen how fast they can whip up these hurricanes when they want one. You haven't even seen that earthquake aspect yet. Sure. Yeah. You have Art on the phone. Okay, go ahead and put him on. You're up, Art. Hi, Sherry. How you doing? Good. How are you? Sherry, sure, i got a quick question. Okay. When you brought up that um, second coming of Christ and all the things that were to happen, and um, I'm not uh, really, I just started following your show about three months ago, but you uh, mentioned the link really quick about zombieism. And I went ahead into that link, and it talked about the zombies and the vampires and so on, and that kind of, like, threw me for a curve a little bit. But um, I was wondering, what, what really happens to these people? Are they possessed, or is it something that they can, their soul is still there, but, you know... Not with zombies. Change? With zombies, the soul is gone, and what happens is a, a demonic entity just takes over the body. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and they'll hang out. I've heard that they, they, will, they hang out in morgues in cemeteries, and literally just take over a dead body and bring it back to life. And you know what? A government has been studying how to do this, uh, you know, for some reason. They call it it's necrobiology, the study of dead cells. Uh-huh. Because uh, if you think about it, our aliens are running the government anyway. Right. And, and what they've done is, is, is to figure out how to do this. And you know what? Hollywood's conditioned us for everything that's coming. If you look at all the movies that we thought were just horror films. Oh, yeah. I mean, that these was are coming. Of these are coming. It just freaks me out to no back. end the more I learn. Uh, yeah. I look back at what we've been conditioned to. I've already been conditioned to uh, know it's coming. And so what, what What these zombies are, is they're already dead. These people are dead. And okay, well, they're long think? gone, and a, and a demonic entity takes over that person's body. Okay, what's your take on the vampires then? I mean, once they're bitten, you get, you know, you get contaminated, you become one, and, you know, you can't be exposed to the sun, and you have these superpowers, and... I mean, what, what's your take on that? I mean, um... What what happened to the people there? And what? As far as vampires are concerned. Vampires? Yes. That's actually a real, a real, uh, that's real too. I don't, I don't get right. into that as much because I really don't understand. some kind of a disease. Uh, but this whole thing uh, with Dracula was, was real. It was true. It was, uh, this person actually existed. And vampires actually do exist. Right. Uh, but I don't, I don't have, I don't have much on that. Uh, not like I've been learning about zombies, you know, and I've just been thrown into this area. So yeah, I have a lot of... It kind of threw me for a loop when I was reading your, your, your link, and then all of a sudden I went into that, and I was like, whoa, you know, what the heck is this? I thought, you know, just, just trying to absorb the alien aspect, which, you know, I'm, I'm accepting now, but... Yeah, and then she throws something else at you, and she's really crazy. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, I had I had a hard time thinking for a couple of days because you know I watched all those movies. I mean, I enjoyed you know being afraid and you know the fear of what could happen. And although I'm not you know a sadist and looking into people getting eaten up or anything like that, but you know it's just kind of interesting to watch once in a while. You know, be scared and, and now. You know, I've heard I, this this phenomenon that's starting about about people that are that that, that 